Shalom, this is Levi Shore. Welcome back to Sweet Torah. So we got a really great one today. We're going to talk about Get Up Rocky because Mickey loves you. So it was one of the most incredible scenes. I think it was in Rocky V and, and Rocky Balboa, the great uh, the character, the heavyweight champion fighter. He goes back to his old gym, Mickey's gym, and he has a flashback of uh, him and Mickey talking. And Mickey says, I'm going to paraphrase it, but Mickey says, he says, Get Up! You know, Get Up Rocky because Mickey loves you. So Mickey was his uh, his coach, his uh, his trainer. You know, Mickey Goldmill, this old crotchety Jewish guy. So in the very first Rocky film, it's interesting because Mickey was like all crotchety and he was angry at Rocky. And he told Rocky, he said, "You called him a bum," and he wanted him out of the gym. And like, and Rocky was like, "Why? You know, why are you saying this to me?" And he says, and Mickey says to him, "Because because you wasted your talent." He said, "You had talent to be a great fighter, but instead you're just a leg breaker." Which meant that Rocky was working for the mob. You know, he was he was, you know, forcing people to pay back the mob money. And Mickey was saying, "You wasted all your talent. That's why you're a bum." And then we see through the Rocky movies, like Mickey is a great inspiration, and it's just totally sad. And Mickey dies in the third movie. You know, after Rocky fights Clubber Lang, and uh, and it's just it's just so touching when Mickey says, you know, that he loves Rocky, and that you know. It, so what does this all mean? So. It, there's a, it's a great muscle for the mitzvah of to love Hashem. It's one of, to love Hashem is one of the six constant mitzvahs. It's a mitzvah we should always be doing. So what does this mean, to love Hashem? What is this we're commanded to love Hashem? What does it mean? So Hashem is an infinite being. He, he is not only beyond time and space, He created time and space. So He's beyond all this. He's beyond all these you know, human emotions and, and our fears and our doubts. So why is Hashem telling us to love Him? Does He need our love? So really, Hashem is teaching us that Hashem loves us. So when we do this mitzvah, when we're always thinking about why we love Hashem, we're thinking of the gratitude of what Hashem's done for us. So every morning we wake up and we say, And we say, like, you know, thank you, Hashem. Because you returned to me a soul. You returned my soul to me, you know, when I woke up from sleep, that you gave me life today. And we should appreciate and we love Hashem more and more when we think of all the good that Hashem's done for us. Like He's given us these eyes, which are miraculous. With these eyes, you know, we, we can see, we can see beautiful things, we, we can learn the words of Torah, we can learn the wisdom. He's given us an intellect, He's given us a brain and an intellect, an intelligence to acquire wisdom of the Torah. We can learn all about the physical world we live in. We can learn about the amazing sciences that Hashem's created and how to harness the power of the physical world. And then through the Torah, it can take us even higher level. We can learn how to harness the power of the spiritual worlds above us. So through this intellect, these eyes, He's given us ears where we can listen to beautiful words of Torah. We can listen to beautiful music that we can hear and inspire us. With the nose He's given us that we can smell beautiful fragrances. And He's given us a mouth. He's given us a mouth where we can speak the world, words of Torah, and we can motivate people. We can, you know, just like Mickey, you know, Rocky's coach wanted to motivate him. It inspires us, and, and it can lift us up, and we can motivate other people, and we can speak great words of motivation and great words of kindness that uplift other people. So we all kind of, like, I, I don't know, growing up, I, I really wanted this crotchety old, you know, coach like Mickey Goldmill, you know, who, who was inspiring me, who, who loved me. But the truth is we have even someone greater in our corner. And the mitzvah to love Hashem is really teaching us that Hashem loves us. And it's interesting. And just like when we run into these difficulties in life, when we run into like, you know, you know we, we, sometimes you know, we have problems with our health, we have disease, you know, sometimes we're in financial difficulties, sometimes we're fighting you know, with our wife or our friends or our family. And we have all these difficulties in life and it gets us down and it gets us depressed and we feel like we can't do anything. And Hashem's really giving all these obstacles. It's like Mickey yelling at us, get up, get off the mat, you can do it. And the obstacles are there to pick us up because Hashem doesn't want to waste our talent. He, Hashem is like that coach, is like, you have great talent. He wants us to develop the talent of who we can be. So the more and more we start appreciating what Hashem's doing for us, it increases our love for Hashem. But also it increases, the best thing, it increases the, 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 the reality of that we have this infinite, all-powerful being in our corner who loves us, who's created us, who's given us all these amazing things, and He's throwing obstacles in our way 
just as like a sparring partner to make us better, to make us greater, and hopefully we can reach you know our championship levels. Whatever we're meant to do in this world, that we can become the best that we can be. And that the mitzvah to love Hashem is really giving us the feeling every day, and it should be constant, that Hashem's always with us. And when we feel that Hashem's always with us, there's nothing we can't do. So sometimes when you're down and life's knocking you around, just remember, get up! Because Hashem loves you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you back again soon on Sweet Good Torah.